Hello and welcome to AC's 8-Bit Zone. This is the month of May and May 42 years ago Pac-Man was released by Namco. So I've recreated Pac-Man from scratch and I have it running on this color computer 1. Now the game isn't completely finished but it's finished enough to make it playable. Uh, this is running on uh, Coco DV hardware upgrade that provides a uh, digital video out to a modern display. Okay, I think before I show you the whole uh, all the details of the game, I want to talk about a couple of the features that. Coco DV adds that made this game possible. So we have hardware sprites, we have hardware scrolling, and we have a new tile graphics mode. So what do I mean by tile graphics? So let me show you the let me show you the tiles that go into the okay, so let's start with tile graphics. So let's run a little program here. I showed this on an earlier video, but one of the keys to Pac-Man is that it has a really tall uh, game grid. So uh, I just re you know I redesigned this from scratch, and it's 31 tiles high and it's 28 tiles wide. Well, it was too tall for the the graphics mode of the Coco without doing some sort of you know, vertical compression of, of tiles. So the first thing that I did is I've created these these aspect ratios where we can go wider. We can go from 32 to 40 in width. And notice there's a lot of border up here. Well, if we make use of this in this new mode, so here, for example, we're gonna go from 24 to 25. And we're not going to stop there. We're going to go to 28 and then all the way to 30. So this is the aspect ratio that we'll be in in the game of Pac-Man. So we'll have 40, 40 columns of tiles of width to play with and we'll have 30 rows in the, the height to play with. And uh, also, uh, a recent flourish that I've added to the game is I've given it the actual, the, the original font. So I, so I found these online and recreated this font in the uh, tile RAM of Coco DV. And I think I have the digits here. Okay, here are the digits, zero through nine. And let's look at all of the tiles that, that we need to design the maze and everything else in the background. Okay, so here we have the original character set that the VDG has always had. And then on this row, just below the ruler, uh, those are 32 tiles that are used to, to design the maze. So these are all the, the graphics that we need to draw the maze patterns. Um, here's a, a dot that Pac-Man gobbles, here's a power-up pill, and then here is the, the font that I showed you on the grid paper. And uh, this little basic program is just going through and it displayed all 256 characters. That's the 128 characters in the character ROM or character RAM, and then 128 more characters in the uh, tile RAM. Uh, and, and tile graphics can utilize all of these 256 patterns. Uh, you can also upload different patterns. These are just the patterns that, uh, that I have in it as a, as a default load of characters. But we can upload different characters if we wanted to for a different game. Okay, we'll exit that one. And let's run the game of Pac-Man. Okay, so 
It's loaded the sprites. Okay, now it's now the game's ready to go. Okay, so things that are working are uh, obviously the the ghost targeting is working. Uh, the ghost can can catch Pac-Man and right now pac-man cannot eat the power-up pills to then go gobble ghosts i mean he can eat the power pills but i haven't programmed in the mode yet that allows him to uh to eat the ghosts oh. and also as you can see i don't really have a uh an end scene in place so right now if if pac-man gets killed he just or if Pac-Man gets eaten, he just respawns and we keep playing. <laughs> okay, so this is going to go on forever in this loop, uh, but I have uh, most of it working and um, I guess let's talk about about scrolling so to get the maze to fit on the screen it's 31 tiles in height but the screens only 30 tiles so I have uh, one tile of of scroll built into this game so there you can see the scrolling action when I cross mid-screen And this is a, a pure hardware scroll. Uh, it's not limited to the, the one tile of, of, of motion, but it's practically unlimited. Uh, but one tile was all I needed for this game. So there are going to be some more videos coming up. If you'd like to see what I have in store, definitely subscribe. I'll be going into more details on how I, how I made the game. I'm also going to port some other games. I'll probably finish Pac-Man. Uh, so there's a whole lot in store for some upcoming videos. I'm also going to show a, um, a video of, of installing Coco DV and all that's coming up. So be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you for the next one. Bye.